All right, welcome back everybody. We want to get you up to date on the latest on WSAV.com. Our digital reporter, Sean Watkins, is here to give us the rundown. All right, Sean, thanks for joining us here. What are you working on? Thank you. So today I found an interesting survey which revealed some of the holiday decor trends that I just wanted to share with you guys. Okay. So the survey was conducted by Lawn Star from a random sample of 368 adults providing some insight to the habits of the holidays. So they found that 52.6% of Americans feel a sense of competition among their neighbors when decorating for the holidays. So if you believe your neighbor is trying to one-up <laughs> you, that may be the case. And then most Americans plan to spend around $51 to $300 on decor, while 7.2% plan to spend over $500, with women in their late 20s, early 30s, more likely to splurge on hol holiday decorations. Mm. And then finally, the long-running debate, a real tree or an artificial tree? In the survey, real trees beat out artificial trees by 3.6%. And you can find the full story on WSAV.com slash now. And so do you like real trees or artificial trees? Which ones do you use? I really think you can't beat a real tree, although I don't like the, it, it just doesn't last as long. Yeah. You know, I mean, obviously, so every year I think a lot of households have that debate, like, okay, is this the year where we're gonna finally, yeah. and we even had that discussion in my house, like with the kids, my kids are 14 and 11 now, mm -hmm. and we're like, would you mind if we just kinda, cause they've never known anything else. Uh -huh. We're like, could we just get an artificial tree this year? And they both were like, emphatically, no. <laughs> really? Right, right, so it's, wow. but we were out of town for Thanksgiving when we normally buy it, so we still haven't bought one. That's interesting, yeah. I've never used a real tree in my life. We've always had artificial. And that's how I grew up too. Yeah, never, never until my wife introduced me to that, so. Yeah, well, let's take a look at what's trending. Okay. Um, so what we have trending on there is the viral, still trending, there's the viral $6,400 health subsidy scam. You need to get this today or you're gonna lose all your money. Okay. Um, that's basically what they're saying. You can see it everywhere on TikTok, Instagram, YouTube, wherever. And then the tribute service for Rosalind Carter that was held today. We had that live. There were actually a lot of really nice readings and performances there. Garth mm. Brooks and Trisha Yearwood actually performed. So that was, I don't know if that Ooh. was on the docket or if I was just unaware that that was happening, but that was a really special moment. Okay. Um, she sang Imagine by oh, John wow. Lennon. So yeah, really, really special. I'm gonna have to rewatch it. And then finally our other trending story is the olive oil that you're using may be fake. May be fake? Yes. So what's in it? So extra virgin olive oil isn't as regulated. Um, you have to make sure that your olive oil has a certain stamp on it okay. to make sure that it is because um, bottlers in Italy, um, a lot of them were controlled by the mafia. Oh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't know if we want to weigh into that, but I, know, I think it also helps, I don't know if this is in the article, but sometimes single origin olive oils are less likely to be blended with other things. Yes. So if it's 100% oh, from wow. Italy or Spain or California, you know. You know. I've, I've been in the grocery aisle a time or two. <laughs> 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 all right, check all those stories on WSAV.com right now. Thank you so much. We appreciate you. it. All right, it's time for an update on the forecast now with Brian.